What's going on? It's your boy Bear the Existence and I am back to do another video for you guys and in this video I'm going to be talking to you about what are the five most important things to think about when you're deciding on whether or not to grow a big beard. Okay, so it's been a minute since I sat in front of this camera and talked to my bearded family so I first want to say uh, what's up to each and every one of y'all and I also want to say I thank y'all uh, for always showing me so much love and support and joining me on this ride. It's been about a month, I think, since I posted a video. Things have been pretty hectic, uh, pretty busy around the house, um, always busy at work, and um, putting in a lot of hours, you know, all, all them type of things. And it makes it a lot harder for me to find the time to get in front of the camera. I promise y'all I'm not gonna leave y'all uh, hanging for this long again. I'm gonna try my best to keep the videos as consistent as possible and uh, try to work out my, my schedule and my time between family, work, and uh, all that good stuff. Um, so I just wanted to come back and do a video. Uh, this is a topic that's been on my mind a lot lately, especially because it's one of the main questions I get asked and that's how do you grow a big beard or what can I do, do to grow a big beard? And every time somebody asks me those questions, I always think to myself, um, you may wanna rethink or consider all that it takes in order to grow a big beard and figure out if it's something you really want. So I'm not gonna ramble on. Let me go ahead and dive into the five most important things to consider when you're trying to grow a big beard. Problem number one, uh, the longer your beard is, the harder it is going to be to comb, especially depending on your beard texture. So if you have a curlier uh, texture, um, the longer it is, the more curls it is, the more curlier your beard is. And the longer it is, uh, the more chance that all those hairs have a chance to uh, curl with each other and tangle up and it makes things um, a lot harder for you to comb. So you have to take a lot more care and a lot more time when you're trying to comb out uh, your beard. So that's one thing you may want to think of. Problem number two to think about when growing a big beard. The longer your beard is, the messier it's going to look. All right. So a lot of people may not understand when I say that. Uh, unfortunately, I have to wear a dress shirt for work. Okay. So I wear a collared dress shirt all day long. Uh, by the time I get to work, I have a dent on both sides of my beard where my, where my beard sits on my shirt collar. Um, now, you may have seen the last teaser video I put out. I was actually going to film me trimming my beard. I did cut my beard. You may notice it's a lot shorter um, now than it was before. That's one of the things I was trying to solve. I was trying to get my beard up a little bit off of my shirt collar because walking around with two big dents in your beard it always makes your beard look um, a little bit uh, unruly or like if you weren't groomed. And no matter how neat my beard looks in the morning, uh, by the time I get to work or by lunchtime or whatever, because of my shirt collar, my beard's gonna look like it's not properly maintained. Uh, same thing with driving in the car. Normal people drive, you got your arm up, you turn to the side, your beard touches your shoulders. If you have the type of textured beard that I have, um, it's not going to fall back to the way it was laying before. Once it's pushed in, it kind of stays that way. So you always got to be mindful of that and keep checking your beard and making sure um, when you're talking to people, they're not looking, looking at you and thinking, you know, um, why doesn't he comb his beard or did he comb his beard before he left the house this morning? You know, those type of things. So, so the number two reason, the longer it is, the messier your beard's going to look. That's a hard one to get around, especially with this, this, uh, especially with my texture beard. The third thing with growing a big beard is the longer your beard is, the more products you're gonna have to use. And the more products you're gonna have to use, the more money it's gonna cost you. I always hear, I've heard a lot, and I used to shake my head when I heard it, and um, most products recommend you use a dime size amount or you use a nickel size amount or a quarter size amount. That never worked for my beard. My beard would drink a quarter size amount and that would only um, that wouldn't do much uh, for my beard, for my particular beard, partially because of texture, um, but also because of the size. So you're gonna go through a lot more products in a quicker period of time. And we all know beard products are not, um, are not that cheap um, when you're comparing them, when you're comparing them to like hair products and uh, other skin products and things like that. Beard products tend to be a little bit more expensive uh, than some of the other things on the market. So a longer beard is gonna cost you more money. Okay, so the fourth thing you have to consider when figuring on whether or not you wanna grow a big beard is the longer your beard becomes, the more care it's gonna require. 
okay? So when I think back to when my beard was short enough that I could brush it, um, or even shorter than that, I never had to do things like deep conditions, and I never had to um, apply all of the products that I use now. I never had to be as careful when combing. I never had to um, co-wash my beard and do all these things that I have to do now. And the longer your beard is, the more products it's gonna require, the more care it's gonna require, the more gentle you're gonna have to be. And it just takes a lot more effort to keep your beard healthy as it gets longer. All right, so that's another thing you need to think about. And number five, last but not least, the longer your beard is, the more careful you're gonna have to be when eating. Whether that is just leaning over your plate, getting your beard in some soup because it's so long, or getting your beard in your plate, or walking around with crumbs in your beard. Uh, there's a lot of things now that I gotta be mindful of. And I always use the front-facing camera on my phone. Some people may think I'm, I'm checking uh, social media or something, but a lot of times I'm using the camera and I'm checking my beard to make sure I don't have any food or any crumbs in it. Because something as simple as eating a cookie or or anything that crumbles, uh, chances are it's gonna fall, it's gonna stick in your beard, um, especially when you're eating. So that's one of the other things you gotta consider. One of the problems you don't have, and the longer your beard becomes, the more and more you gotta be conscious about uh, having food and other things in your beard because you don't wanna look like that dude that's walking around with food in his beard. Because trust me, a lot of people will not tell you, they'll, they'll have a long conversation with you and not let you know that you have food in your beard. Okay, so those were the five things that you should consider before deciding on whether or not you wanna grow a big beard. So I just wanted to put this video out uh, to give you guys something to think about. Um, there are pros and cons to everything. So I wanted to give y'all some of the cons to think about uh, when growing or when deciding on whether or not you wanna grow a big beard. So again, I appreciate all of y'all. If you are a subscriber to the channel, I thank you for subscribing. If you're not, go ahead and do me a favor, click the subscribe button, tap the bell so you get notified every time I drop a video. Your boy Bay Existence appreciate y'all. Peace.